Hi and welcome! In this video, we'll look at the content section. This section is made up of plugins, and one of the most important ones is news, and that's our topic for today. We'll show you the functionality of news, creating channels, adjusting channel settings, and creating posts with news. With news, you can create channels. In these channels, you can publish articles, short updates, and posts with picture or video content. First, we will show you how news looks in the Experience Studio. Here, in news in the Experience Studio, you can see the four channels we have already created. Top news, global news, local news, and COVID-19 updates. If you click on these channels, you can see the posts that they contain. In your app, you can find our four channels on the menu under Our News. If you click on the channels here, you can see the posts that have been created in them. Here you can add a new channel. Enter the channel name and select the channel type. Choose Articles for Feature Content, Media for Picture or Video Content, or Updates for Short Posts. Once a channel has been created, you cannot change the channel type. Then hit Save. The channel has now been created, but it has not been published yet. Unpublished channels will appear in grey, whereas published ones turn blue. Here you can adjust the channel settings. Under Common Settings, you can change the channel name and see who published it. You can set the visibility of the channel in the app to all users, selected users or groups, or to no one. Here you can set the channel to be visible in your public area. You can assign authors to your channel. This means that they can publish and edit their own posts within the channel. And here you can assign editors to your channel. Editors can create, edit and remove posts in this channel. They also have access to the channel settings. Under Plugin Settings Channel, you can see the channel type and choose between three layout options Enhanced, Standard, or Compact. Here you can find the settings for channel features such as comments, likes, acknowledgements, highlighting, sharing, push notifications and email notifications. You can set up whether these features are allowed for posts within your channel, and you can configure a default setting for posts. This means that posts created in this channel will have these default settings, but they can be manually adjusted for each post. We recommend to allow push and email notifications, but to deactivate them by default. In this way, you can prevent posts being pushed accidentally because deactivation was forgotten before publishing a post. In settings, you can also enable or disable author information and select an associated news page for your channel. We select the channel Our News. Under Sources, you can connect an RSS channel. Here, at the top, you can save your changes publish your channel, or delete it. To create a post, click on Create Post at the top. Now enter a title, and upload an article image or video. Here you can enter a teaser text. In the editor below, you can enter your article text. It also gives you various options to style your text. We will cover this in detail in a later video. On the right side, you can find a number of options for your posts. You can publish immediately, schedule publication, and pick a time when the article becomes unpublished. Remember the push and email notifications in the channel settings? We had allowed push and email notifications and turned them off by default. Here, you can now enable them for your post. If you enable them, 
This will be highlighted on the Publish Now button. Comments and likes are enabled by default, as we specified in the channel settings. And we can enable acknowledgements and highlighting here. At the top, you can save your draft and see a preview of your post on various devices. Here you can also see the highlights important and that this post is to be acknowledged. Then, you can publish your article. After publishing a post, it can be edited or removed here in the channel. If you choose Edit, you will see that the options on the right now include additional features. You can see how often your post has been viewed and by how many viewers, how often it has been liked, and how many comments it received. You can also copy or move posts to different channels. We will copy this post into our test channel from before. Posts can only be moved into channels of the same type. After copying posts, they are placed into the new channels as drafts, so you will still need to publish them. Now we can see the new channel in our app and the articles we've created within it. The setup for the other channel types, media and updates are very similar. We suggest you just go ahead and try it out. We'll explore more features of the Experience Studio in the next videos. And you can always find more information in our support portal.